Hi everybody. How are you doing? I hope you had a great weekend. I did a little bit of every day, everything. It was Father's Day, so we did some of that. And my grandson had a birthday party, so we went to that. And I took pictures at a baseball game. And I just standing there, I melted. It was over 100 degree day. Kansas has been very, very hot. I came here today to share with you a few things I bought at the garage sale. I paid out $85 and we can add it up as we go and see what we think we're going to make on this. At the end, we'll have a total of what we approximately think we'll make on our $85. So here we go. Let's start with our first item. I usually pick up any of these I run into. This one happens to be green and plastic and 1950s letter, ho letter holders. I don't know if this one is marked. No name on the back. But these usually sell from anywhere from $15 to $25. So I put out a quarter, I think, for this. So, let me get a piece of paper here, and we're going to add up. Well, we know I did a whole, my whole amount I spent was $85, so I'm not going to tell you how much I paid on each thing. We just know the total I paid out was $85. So, we think we'll make, let's put $15 just to be low, low ball on what I'll make on this. Let's go to the next item. Snap-on tools. Anything you find that is snap-on tools, pick it up. This uh, old hat, it's kind of dirty. I wiped it down already. It's got a little wear here. And it smells like the shop. <laughs> and it has a snap-on tools tag, too. But snap-on tools tag hats can sell up to $100. The older ones. This one probably will safely say... $20, just to be safe, so I'll write down $20. Then I picked up some men's vintage hats, and I got them for a dollar a piece. The first one here, it doesn't have a brand, but it's a canvas hat with a leather band. That's a very nice hat. The next one is a totes, which is like a rain hat. These are all three in very nice condition. And this one is Dorfman Pacific. They sell for very good money. They're more of a beach hat. You know, something that you're in the sun, maybe in Florida or something like that. So all three of these hats, a low estimate on what they, let's say they sell for 10 bucks a piece, that'd be $30. Okay. My children bought me one of these for Christmas because I said I wanted them because it gets so dreary and and dark in the winter and I wanted a bright light but this is a nature bright light and it helps you as a therapy light gives you a light in the in the winter time when it's really dark out and makes you feel better so I knew these costed quite a bit of money because my daughter said don't sell the one we got you it costs a lot of money so I looked it up and they can go from anywhere from $25 to $50. So we're going to say a low estimate of $20 on this. And it's, it's new, and the guy said it's hardly even been used at all. So it's got the box, and it's pretty new. So we'll put down $20 on that. Then I pick up canes, the old guy canes, old man canes, the wood ones, 
And the ones with the rubber stopper sell faster and sell better. Maybe because that stopper's there and they don't have to go out and look for it. But this just plain old wooden cane. Uh, we'll just say it sells for $15, a low price. And I got another one. This one has a red stopper on the bottom. So we'll say another $15 on that cane. Okay, something you might not even have thought about. This one needs clean. I haven't cleaned it yet, but old rubber made trash cans or trash buckets or rubber made my sister was telling me today the laundry hampers, Rubbermaid laundry hampers. But these little old 1950s, I'd say, retro trash cans sell for about $25 a piece. So we'll put down $25 on that because I'm pretty sure we'll get it. And then I picked up a green one. This one's plastic. I like the scalloped on it. We'll say for a low estimate, it sells for $10. The old clipboards. These are kind of dirty and written all over, but the old cardboard-like or I forget what they call them. But these old clipboards, they sell for about 10 bucks a piece. So if you see these out there, grab them. I have a lot of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six of them that I picked up. So that could be $60. But let's say for a low end price, since they get writing on them, we'll sell them for $25. This is really cool. I got an estate sale and it's an Ethan Allen. It's marked on the bottom and it says made in England. And this top is leather, which I think will make it worth quite a bit of money, this leather up on top. It's ornate, it's small, just a small end table. But I was looking up Ethan Allen. I have an Ethan Allen listed and it hasn't sold real quick. It will sell. It's got a lot of watchers on it, but it's got a lot of wear on it. But with this leather top, it could sell for $250. So I'm going to put down $200. Well, to be safe, we'll put it $199 for sale. Ethan Allen is a good furniture brand. And my husband spotted this bat. I spotted it first and I walked by it. He didn't get it. He thought we should get it. So this bat brand can sell anywhere from about $25 to $50. So on the safe side, we'll say we sell that for $20 because it needs a new grip. The grip is a little bit worn. Then anything fishing. I'm wearing my Fishing Future hat and my Fishing Future shirt. So anything fishing I come upon, I grab if it's a good price. Now my husband went through this and picked out what he wanted. He took out the weights, he took out some lures, but this was a really good buy. Inside each shelf, it's got three layers, and they all have, oops, sorry, lures, weights, and on the bottom, there's some brand new ones, hooks, more fishing stuff, there's a bunch of brand new stuff down here on the bottom. I guess that's a crappie. Um, I 
there's and that and I'll sell the tackle box with everything. It's it's got about a the tackle box itself. It's only worth about ten bucks, but everything that's inside of it's worth about a hundred dollars. So we're going to estimate that I sell it for seventy five dollars. Now inside there's a little fly kit. Each one of these flies sells for about three bucks a piece. So we probably could sell that for, let's say, $20. Let's put this back together. It's a good tackle box. Uh, I think there's the brand. This is, looks like the same brand as a bat, almost. Then these caught my eyes. Anyone guess what those are used for? They're vintage because of the straps on them. And they're leather. And one is marked Bear and the other one is marked Shakespeare. They're for archery. To protect your shooting arm on archery. And I only saw one of these listed out there. So you probably could get a low estimate, $25 for both of them. That's probably a low estimate. Then this pretty decorative, like a trinket box. It's a lacquerware vintage. It's a pretty one, pretty colors, flowers on it. And we can say we probably get, we probably could get ten dollars for it at a low price. This guy, he's hand carved wood. He is marked on the bottom. Let's see if you can see it. See, he's got a name marked there on the bottom. It's hard to read, but he's hand carved. Look at his face. If I can get it up there. His face is crazy. I did a good job. There's the back side of him. I was looking them up. They he could probably get about twenty dollars for him. Then this is a solid wood hand carved horse. See it's wood. And you gotta look at his face. It's crazy too. <laughs> He's animated horse. He could probably bring oh, let's say twenty dollars too. Then I got these and I don't quite know what they are. I just know they're hand carved wood. And they have women and like tropical scenes or cactus. So they have holes in them. So my guess, I was talking to my sister Susie and we think they hang from a wall, maybe a wall decoration, but they are solid wood. So I really don't know what these are worth yet. I haven't really had a lot of time to research, but let's say they're worth $15. Then I have got this old cigar box and it says it's handmade. One side is loose, the hinges. It's Fried, Friedman, it says. Cigars. It, it's got, but over here on the other side it says handmade. This cigar box, oh, let's say it goes for $10. another trinket box and it's marked on the back a Navajo Indian sand painting so it's a trinket box that's got the Navajo this is sand sand painting so that probably go for around $20 Turn my phone off. Then we have this is supposed to be a woman. See the lips? <laughs> this is what they call a barshling. It's new with tags. It's Ducks, Unlim Ducks Unlimited Marshling. 
and it's got the guy to go with it. And I only saw another pair out there, and they had about $25 on them, I think. Sorry about my light. It keeps going in and out. So I went right down 25 on those. Those are pretty rare. I didn't only saw one of them out there. And then I got this hand-carved wood couple sitting on a bench. But the hand carving is awesome on those. That probably could get us at least $25. Then I got a wood seahorse. He's hand carved wood too. I'd say, let's say $10 on him. Then I bought some belt buckles, which I don't normally do because belt buckles, some of them sell good and some don't. This one is a rodeo. It's national finals in 1978. It's brand new in the container. Then I got an Oregon belt buckle with deer on it. And this is the one that was worth the most. It's a solid brass, and that's an Indian head. Nickel would be my guess. But he can go for around $50. So... Let's say a low estimate on all three of those, $40. Then this is very unique. This is rocks. It's an ashtray. The inside is like a plastic. But these things here where you sit your cigarette, I think those are gold. They look to be gold to me. So this might be worth some good money. I don't know. I have to do a little more research on it. It looks like river rocks. I don't know. They got some pretty color to them. So let's say it sells for, I don't know, maybe $40. I had another belt buckle. We'll just include it in the price we had already figured out, but it's a, a bass. It's a bass angler sportsman society belt buckle. Most of them are new because no one wears them. They just collect them and never wear them. Then I got this guy. He's hand carved and my sister told me these are bolos. I knew he had something to do with cat, cattle or bulls. I'd say bulls, not cow bulls. He's wood and he says Uruguay. So I found something like him out there It was selling for $50. So we're going to put $50 on him. My light keeps going out. <laughs> there we go. We maybe got a ghost in here. Okay. This is a vase. And it says Dryden. It's a Dryden vase. And it's got like a weepy blue design on it. And these can sell for around $25 to $50, so we'll put $25 on it. Then I found a little porcelain trinket box. And it's marked on the back Odagari, Japan. And it says, it's blue and Mari is the design. So they can sell for good money, but we'll put just $15 on that. Then I got the salon. And it has a sticker. It's probably from around the 50s. It says, Marigold Glassware made in Durango, Colorado. And these sell for around $25. If you can, I, they're probably a little take a little longer to sell. 
So we'll put 25. Then I got some Frankoma. And it has, let me get it the right way, a butterfly and flowers. And it's a trivet. It says Frankoma on the back. And this is the Desert Gold. And remember, the Desert Gold sells for more money than the other colors. So this one might sell for around $25. And then I got a ladies hat collection. I got these for a dollar a piece and I'm gonna sell, I'll sell them as a lot. Here's a black one. It's like black and it's marked Walter King. It's Henry Dollar New York. So they got this in, it's a New York hat. Okay, this one is marked, but I can't read it, but it's a wool hat. That one's pretty. There's a red one. This one came from England. It says, Bermona Trin, made in England. This doesn't have any markings. It's a straw with polka dot. This one is wool. And looks like Melso, Meloso. Let me just turn around. It's a pretty hat. And this is the coolest one I like. It's the blue. It's got some things dense on the top. It's an Aldolfo II, New York and Paris. It's a Bowman, B O L L M A N. It's a nice hat. All of them are nice hats. They took care of them. They were in a hat box, so. I'll sell that whole hat lot. Let's say there were 10 a piece. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So let's say we sell that whole hat lot for low estimate is $75. And then, last but not least, I got some clothes. I got this Ariat, which is a country western brand. It's a dark brown zipper vest. It's in very nice condition. So, it'll probably sell for $35. So, let me write $35. We'll add up our total here at the end and see what we're going to make on our $85. This is a double zero. Vest. This is a cool vest. It has lace on it for a collar. And then it has fringe. So I'd say it's a western vest too, and it's open front. So this one probably sell for at least $25. And then We have a Cinco Ranch, our Cinco Ranch, and it's lace, and it's a western. The bottom is really cute. I'd say that at least we can estimate $25. Then we have a chocolate. It's a dark blue, but the name is chocolate. It's like a puffer vest, a quilted and we'll get at least $25 out of that vest. And then we have a pair of Maurice's jeans. Let me get them buttoned here. There's the back. And there's the front. And they are 910 regular. And they have some distress, but Looks like they were made that way. So we'll probably at least get 25 out of those. And we have a pair of Cowgirl, Cowgirl Tough Company. It's a Ride and Ride Fearless brand or name. It's a um, waist is a 28. There's the back. It's kind of like barbed wire fence. 
there's the front and they're kind of distressed too. You get at least $20, $25 for those. You can watch this video or you will be watching it on either YouTube or Facebook under Sunflower Flipper. Please go and like and subscribe my channel on YouTube or like my site on Facebook. I have an eBay store. It is Gwenna underscore Baker. And I've been doing it since about 2009. I started my eBay store on, on like $100. And I've made it go for all these years. It's a lot of fun. I love my job. These are Reba jeans. I find that anything Reba sells. They're a pair of just country western jeans. Let's see what size they are. Size 10. So we'll probably get 25 out of those. And I have another Reba jeans. Let me get them buttoned here. They are a size 10 also. Nice design on them. That's the front. I got some wear and fading, but they have lots of wear left. So let's say that's 25. So that is, let me look here. It looks like it. That's everything I picked up for $85. So let me add up. We are keeping a tally as we went here. Let me add up here if I can get my calculator on my phone and we'll see what we can make on an estimate of what we can make on $85. So we have 50 and we have 15. We have another 50. I'm going to set my phone down. Another 30. Another 35. Another 25. 199. I try when I go out garage selling to find one item that can pay for everything and then the rest is profit. So then we have another 60, another 75, uh, another 25, another 35, another 50, another 75, 45, 30, 35, 30, 50, 50, 25, 15, 75, and another 75. So that adds up to 1,000, sorry my husband's trying to call me, $1,080 that I could possibly make on $85. So you really can't, if you're going to sell on eBay, garage sales in the summer is your best bet to go out and really load up. If you've got the storage room, load up, store it in your basement, and then you have it to sell all winter till the garage sales are back in action in the spring. So there are some things that give you an idea of stuff to look for. I just try to look for stuff also that's unusual, that you never see anymore. That's what a lot of people are looking for is something they can't find in a store. There are, there are so many things that I don't even know about to look for that I'm still learning. And I've been doing this, like I said, for a long time. So I hope I give you, gave you some ideas of what to look for. Everybody have a great day. Go to fishingsfuture.org and sign up for a fishing camp in your state. Learn how to fish. It's a great way to spend the day to get outside. Everybody, take a little time to enjoy the view. Life is good. Bye.